One of the most important things for me when I set up a session is going in and making sure that the I.O. setup is set up the way that I want it to. The I.O. setup is something that is actually saved with the session, and it is also saved on the computer so you can use it as the last used session. You would find the I.O. dialog box in the setup menu. The I.O. menu has a total of six tabs. They are the inputs, the outputs, the internal buses for Pro Tools, inserts for hardware inserts. If you have certain mic preamps like the Avid Pre, you can actually control it and save its settings inside of Pro Tools. And it also has the hardware insert delay. It will calculate that for you. This is a session that I inherited from somebody else. If I go to the buses, there is a total of 128 buses that are unnamed in this Pro Tools session, which is the type of thing that absolutely drives me crazy. Let's say I wanted to create a scent and I go to select a bus. It has a ton of unnamed buses that I would just never use in the first place. I always name my buses like reverb snare, reverb vocals distant reverb. What I would do when I start my session is I would completely customize this. And you can just erase these things. You can disable them a couple of different ways. You can check the box for anything that you're not actually using, or you can actually just go ahead and delete it. So I can click the top one, shift click the bottom one. And then also the same thing is true for these buses here. I don't need any of these. I would customize these myself as I'm going along. And I can always add a new path. A path is going to be an input, an output, a bus. I could create buses here by adding a new path down here. Let's say I'm gonna use one reverb and then I could hit Command Plus and that will give me another lane here. Tab over to the name of my new path and I'm gonna call it delay underscore. I'm gonna make four of them. And you can also auto create sub paths here because then you'll have a left and a right. And then if I were to create an aux send and I pull down that menu, now I have these very carefully labeled things and I know exactly where things are going. I don't have to try to keep track of what bus one and two is. I can actually use my input and output view to create new paths in my IO window. I could just go to the send the send is ultimately an output. So what I would do is I just create a new track. I would just call this a reverb drums maybe. And then it does two things. So not only does it create an aux send, it also creates an aux track for it to send to. So now the output of this aux send here is going to this track. Of course, I would have to solo save this by command clicking it on this track. I can either go to my view menu up here or go down here to my edit window view selector, show my inserts. On that aux track, I can just uh, put a reverb plug in here. So now if I wanted to use this on any other drum track, I can always just go to my buses and then there it is down at the bottom. Also, if I were to open up the IO window, it shows up here down at the bottom of this. You can also change your inputs. And then I'm gonna create new path, or I can just hit Command Shift N. Let's say I do a radio show every week. Mic number one is the host, mic number two is the co-host, mic number three is the guest, and maybe input number four is the phone line. Click it, and I can always just click on this and rename it. And then I can actually save this with the session and also on my computer so I can use it again later. I'm going to click OK first, open it up again, and then go to Export Settings. It's going to put it in the settings on this computer. I'm going to call this Radio Show. When I create a new session, I hit Command N in Pro Tools and it brings up my dashboard. It saves it as last used, and normally I would just go to Stereo Mix as default, or I would choose one of the IOs that relate to the system that I'm actually working on. But I can now go to Radio Show, hit Create, and then the default input settings now are host, co-host, guest, and telephone. And now if I pull down this menu, that is what shows up as the names of the things on my interface. So a little bit about the I.O. window. Normally what I would do 
I wouldn't really mess with the inputs, but I would actually customize my outputs and save those. So with the limited number of buses and them all being labeled, that makes my life a lot more efficient.